Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Lee Code 75. It's called Max Consecutive Ones 3 and we're going to jump right into it. So given a binary array nums, meaning our input nums is only zero and ones, and an integer k, we want to return the maximum number of consecutive ones in the array if we can flip at most k zeros into ones. So example one, this is our input nums and k equals two. What is the longest sequence of ones? That's going to be length of six right over here because we can flip this zero and this zero to become a one. So this right here is our sequence. And example two, this is our input nums and k equals three. So the longest sequence of all ones ranges from here to here. And we can see that we have three zeros in there, which is fine because we can flip three zeros into ones. So what is this question asking? We want to find the longest consecutive sequence of all ones and we want to return that. But we are allowed to have k zeros turn into ones, which means in our sequence, we're essentially allowed to have k zeros. So say we have the following input example. We have this input nums over here and k equals two. We want to find the longest sequence of all ones. Now, anytime we want to find the longest sequence or longest array of something, a cheat code to solve this is to always start very small and start at the beginning. So I'm going to say my starting index is going to be index zero. So start is zero over here. And the max sequence of ones that I've seen so far is also zero. So we're going to have max ones also initialized to zero. Now, what we want to do is start at the very beginning over here, include a character at the time and try to expand out. So I'm going to say my endpoint right now is zero. So end is over here as well. Again, we start at the very beginning, start small, and we want to expand as far as possible. And we're going to keep pushing out up until we iterate through every single character in our input nums. So while end is less than the length of nums, we're going to try to push out and make our sequence bigger. Right now we have no characters You start at index zero, but we haven't included this index yet. So what we're going to do at every single iteration is just move and down and include the character that we come across at that index. And right now the character we have here is a zero. So if the index of end has a character of zero. We want to decrease from K. We were allowed K zeros, but if we already use up the zero, we're going to be allowed one less zero. So if nums of end equals zero, we're going to subtract from K. So these are our variables that we've initialized up here. And we want to subtract from K since this ending is zero. So now that we are including this character over here, that is a zero, we're allowed one less zero, which means we're only allowed one more zero in our entire sequence. So right now we went ahead and included this character. So we need to go ahead and update what our new max sequence is. So max ones is going to be the max of what we have so far and the length of our current sequence. So that's going to be end minus start plus one. And we always do plus one because otherwise it's not going to be inclusive of the indices we're at. So we're including start and end. So it's going to be zero minus zero and then plus one, which means we have a total length of one. This is our entire sequence so far, that first index. So now that we've updated max ones, we know at every single iteration we want to push out. So we're going to move end down. So end plus equals one. So end is now at index one over here and we go back in our while loop nums of end, this new end that we're on is also zero. So again, we want to subtract from K. So K goes to zero. We're allowed no more zeros in our sequence. And we want to update our max ones. Our current sequence is over here. So one minus zero is one plus one is two. So we update max ones to be two. Our total length is now two and we move end down again. So end is now at index two over here. And this is still true. It's less than the length of nums. And we're at another zero, which means K is negative one. Now, this is no longer a valid sequence, right? We were only allowed K zeros and we shot past that. So now what we want to do is bring our starting point in up until we're valid again. So while K is less than zero, what we want to do is move start down. So we want to check the character we had at start. If that is a zero, we can again increase that count of K. So if nums of start equals zero, it's going to be K plus equals one. And either way, we move start up by one. So right now, k is less than zero and nums at start equals zero. So we're going to move k up, which puts us back at zero for k and we move start down. So right now, our sequence is going to range from index one to index two. We're no longer including this element over here. And again, we have a valid sequence, right? We're back at k zeros. We maxed out, but we haven't shot past. 
So now what we want to do is update our max ones. So what is our new sequence length? That is going to be two minus one, which is one plus one, which is two. So we don't really need to update this. It's still two. And all we do is move end down. So writing out these indices over here, just so it's clear, we know that end is now going to be at index three. We go back in this while loop. Nums of end is not equal to zero. So we don't go in this if, and K is also not less than zero. So we don't do anything. All we do is calculate the size of our new sequence. So three minus one is two plus one is three, right? We are at this over here, it's three in total. So we update max one since it's greater than what we had before. And we move n down again. So n is now at index four, we go back in this while loop, nums of n is not equal to zero, we don't need to modify k. And k is also not less than zero, nothing to do here. All we do is update our max ones. So this is now going to be four, and we move n down. So end is now going to be index five, we go back in this while loop, and what we have at nums of end is equal to zero, so we subtract from k which puts k at minus one, which means we will be going in this while condition. So while k less than zero, that is true. Since nums of start does equal zero, as we push start in, we are going to increase that k count. So this equals zero and we're gonna move k up by one. So k is now going to be zero and start moves up to two. So this is the sequence that we're working with from two to five inclusive. And we don't go back in our while loop since k is no longer less than zero. We update our max ones, so 5 minus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4, nothing to update here, the max was already 4, and we move n down again. So now we're at index 6, going back in this while loop, nums of n equals 0, so we're going to subtract from k, goes to negative 1. While k is less than 0, we check what we have at start, it is 0, so as we move start in, we also up that k count, which means start is now at index 3, this is our sequence, and we update our max ones, which is going to stay 4. Going in our next line, we push n down to index 7. We're back in the loop, nums of n is not equal to 0, and k is also not less than 0. All we do is update our max ones, so from here to here, we have a length of 5, we update that, move n down again. So we're at index eight, going back in here, nums of n does equal zero, we subtract from k, so k is at negative one, and we go in this while loop. Well, k less than zero, that's true. If nums of start equals zero, that is not true, so we can't update our k count, all we can do is push start in. So start is now at index four, and k is still less than zero, so we go back in this while loop again, and we make a check. Nums of start is not equal to zero, so again, we can't update k, and we push start in again. K is still less than zero, so we're back in this while loop, and now nums of start does equal zero. So as we get rid of this starting point, we can now increase K because we're no longer including the zero in our sequence. So we move K to be zero and we move start down. Start is now index six. We no longer go in this while loop. K is not less than zero, and we update our max once. So eight minus six is two, two plus one is three. It's not greater than five, so no updates are needed, and we move N down. So end is now nine and we can't go in this while loop again because we are no longer less than the length of our input nums. So we exit. And what do we want to return after all this? We just want to return our max ones. So that's all we need to do. Let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. So talking about space and time complexity for time, we start at the beginning and we pushed out with two pointers. So this is going to be O of N since we do go over every single character in our input nums. And for space, the only thing we keep track of are our variables start, max ones, and end. So this is going to be constant O of one. Now we just did a full walkthrough with this example. And to recap what we did, right? Anytime we want to find the max consecutive sequence or a subarray, we always start small at the beginning and push out with an end pointer. And if we're no longer valid in whatever subarray sequence we have, we then move start in and we keep doing that up until there are no more characters to iterate over. So we just went ahead and solved a max consecutive ones three. If you have any questions whatsoever, of course, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.